Hey guys, John here. Thanks for taking the time to join us for another video from the workbench here at RC Juice. Uh, today we're going to talk about a quick fix for a common problem with the Sky RC BD200 battery discharger. This is one of the most common products that we sell here. We sell lots of these things. Uh, you'll also see this thing on the market under uh, the GeForce brand. I believe it's the RD200 or something. It looks identical to it. It's the same product. Um, a very common question that we get um, from guys that have had it for a while, they say it works fine for a while, then they go plug it in to go use it and it won't discharge. So we'll show you what that looks like. We've set this one up with that problem. So you'll plug a battery into it. It still turns on. So we will set this thing for low voltage. So set it down, go to turn it on. And as you can tell, obviously the unit turns on, but when you go turn it on, it doesn't really start discharging. We're, we're down at 0.73 amps, um, 0.09 amps now, and it'll just sit here. It won't really start discharging anything beyond that. Um, so the problem with it actually is, it's a simple blown fuse. So to fix the fuse on this thing, all you need to do, it's got these four rubber feet on the bottom. You need to peel these off to access the screws. And I will tell you guys that we did peel these off already. Um, they, they do take a little bit more work. Sometimes you gotta take like a little hobby knife to get in there and peel them off. Uh, but these guys come right off. Once you take those off, let me see here, there's just four screws down underneath here. And again, we also kind of pre-loosen these screws just to make the video go by a little bit quicker. So once you get those four screws out of there, one left, and sometimes it helps to take like a box cutter uh, blade, kind of stick it in the edge here to help pop this bottom piece off. And once you get this that bottom cover off there, you'll just see on the bottom right here, there's a fuse inside here. Real simple, just blade style automotive fuse to 40 amp fuse. So take a fresh fuse, just slide it in there. And now, when we go to use this guy again, so we'll do the same thing, dial down the voltage, And we're at about 15 amps. We'll go and start a cycle. And now we'll see the amps coming up. So it's an easy fix. So again, it's kind of misleading because people wouldn't think that there is a burnt fuse in there because the unit still turns on, but that fuse just is for the discharge circuit. So again, if you guys see that problem, real simple, pop that bottom plate off, 40 amp fuse, and you'll be good to go. Um, if you guys have any questions, please feel free to email us at the contact info in the link down below. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.